Hello YouTube! I am so excited. I'm finally recording my first video. I've been putting off uh, making videos for such a long time and today I decided to bite that down and create this um, ocean blue makeup look for you guys. Um, the video is a little bit messy, but at least I tried and had a lot of fun with it. Um, if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, keep watching. If you want to see more videos coming up, please subscribe. If you have any suggestions, comment down below. And let's get to the video. So we're going to start off with MAC Soft um, Ochre Paint Pot. We're going to put this all over our lids. Llama. It looks type crazy right now, but promise at the end you're going to love the look. So I decided to do voiceover instead, so let's just get right into the video. So we're going to use Anastasia self-made palette and we're going to go into this color right here called Buttery and we're going to use this to set our eyelid primers into place. Then we're going to use the same palette. We're going to use this color right here, Sherbert, as a transition color and we're going to use this generously all over our crease and this will help our crease to get a little bit warmed up and it'll bring all of the colors that we're going to use later on um, all together. After that, we're gonna go right into this beautiful Kiko's eyeshadow in the number 165, and we're gonna use this brush from MAC 224. Obviously, it's bomb. <laughs> so, we're gonna take that, tap the axis, and we're gonna start working that in our crease. We're gonna blend 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 until you feel like your eyelids are gonna bleed girl because we're not stepping out of this house without that eyeshadow being completely fully blended out yes we're gonna go um as a windshield wiper motion back and forth back and forth and it's okay to be messy makeup is all about having fun with it in the same eyeshadow palette, we're going to go into this beautiful turquoise color right here called Isla. And we're going to go into that color with a MAC brush 221. We're going to take that color and we're going to uh, buff out our dark blue color to make sure that we don't have any harsh lines. So, I look super duper confused. So <laughs> we're going to use this color right here called... Um, a spirit rock and we're gonna tap that axis again and we're gonna use that in our crease to deepen our eye sockets and we're gonna also bring that out into our outer V as well again take your time blending out this black color that keeps a smoky eye is blending to perfection so we're gonna use this NYX pigment this pigment is absolutely beautiful it's in the number 24 so we're gonna take um, a flat brush we're gonna use our primer water we're gonna spread our brush to make it just a tad bit damp so it could pick up the pigment better in the empty spaces of our eyelids we're going to take that color and we're going to dab 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 yes dab 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 that color everywhere on your eyelids Spread that blue pigment color everywhere. Again, it's okay to be messy. Back at it again with the same eye palette. We're gonna use Spirit Rock to deepen our crease again. And doing my makeup, I always do this. <laughs> so sensual. Anyway, so back with that Spirit Rock, we're going to bring that into our crease and it's gonna make our eye look together and back to life. I wanted to show you up close what I actually do so in my outer V I go in circles so it doesn't look harsh I go in circles back and forth back and forth to blend out all those lines so we don't have any harsh lines here I am dancing and singing like nobody's watching me and hearing me and then this happens girl you better get it together <laughs> 
So back to this Kiko's blue color, we're using a MAC 224 brush. We're gonna bring that blue color back into our crease to bring uh, life again. And it's okay to reuse and touch up colors. Going in with the Falsies Mascara, comment down below and let me know which mascara you're using right now. Using some duo glue, I'm gonna put my Falsies off camera. And I'm pretty sure everyone's wondering when I'm gonna clean my messy mess and this is the point where I do. I take some uh, Smashbox water, spray some on a tissue and start cleaning up. BAM! Some foundation time, I'm using Born This Way and L'Oreal's Infallible Pro Matte together. And I'm using the e.l.f. blending brush. I absolutely love this brush. So I dab L'Oreal Pro Matte first all over my face. And then I use Born This Way foundation. And I just start dabbing all over. That way I could get a flawless canvas to create the rest of my face. And we go in with this hard candy concealer we're going to highlight underneath our eyes I just do a few dots underneath um, I use a flat foundation brush to smear the concealer under my eyes and I'm creating a upside down V that's where the highest points of my face is so when the light hits BAM you got it so then we're going to bake yes baking we're using the Laura Mercier translucent powder we're using that same flat foundation brush and we're gonna dab that underneath um, our eyes or my eyes and we're gonna start cooking girl yes we're gonna start cooking baking whatever you want to call this method up next some brows we're using Anastasia brow wiz and dark brown here I am super duper surprised that brows makes a huge difference <laughs> we're gonna set our eyebrows with the next tinted brow mascara this is a good method if you miss some spots with your brow wiz this is gonna bring back the color and fill up the spots Contouring time, we're using LA Pro Concealer. We're gonna chisel our cheeks. I'm going to dab a few dots on the side of my cheeks. Dab, dab, dab. We're gonna make our forehead smaller. We're gonna dab a few dots as well on top. And we're gonna use our e.l.f. stippling brush. Stippling brushes are awesome when it comes to uh, liquid foundations or liquid concealers and we're just gonna start buffing that out yes buff 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 to set our concealer in place we're gonna use the Anastasia contour kit in light to medium we're gonna use all of these three colors because I'm extra that way <laughs> We're using a Morphe blush powder, but I use it to contour my cheeks. That's the beauty of makeup. You could mess around with brushes, with colors, etc. So anyways, we're going to use that uh, powder. We're going to make our forehead smaller. We're going to make our face smaller as well. We're going to make our appearance look skinnier, thinner, whatever you want to call it then this is my favorite part we're going to go in to the bottom of your neck because nobody wants that double chin <laughs> i don't know but i don't like my double chin back with the lower mercier we're going to start chiseling our cheeks as you can see i'm using again the same foundation flat brush and i'm just going to start creating quote unquote a little beard uh, just to make our contour pop out a little bit more and this is the point where I start dusting off all of our baking powder I don't know about you but this always happens to me I dust so freaking hard and so damn fast that this happens to me <laughs> it always happens to me <laughs> Then um, I take off, swipe off the rest of the baking powder from the cheeks. And then we go right into the Fit Me powder with a e.l.f. 
um, powder brush as well we're gonna bring back some color underneath my eyes because I do feel like the um, translucent powder makes me a little bit white let's start working underneath our eyes we're gonna use that same Kiko's color and we're gonna use a flat brush we're going to tap the axis again and we're gonna start smudging that color underneath our waterline Back with Spirit Rock, we're going to use that in our waterline and we're going to use that as a black eye pencil. I don't have any black pencils around me so I just use that and this is just a great alternative if you also want to save money and yeah. And then we're going to extend that line out to create a smoky effect. We're going to use the MAC 224 brush just to blend everything all out. Um, as you can see, I'm just using little swift little moves <laughs> and just make everything all seamless. Let's bring some color to our cheeks. I'm using an Eco Tools brush. Uh, this tart color is called Pate, and this color was absolutely beautiful and too too bright for me So I went and I just started stippling uh, the rest of like the excess of Foundation from earlier from when we started our makeup and this just saturates that pink look Highlight we're gonna start highlighting with Anastasia starlight. I'm using a Mac 196 brush This brush is awesome because it's dense I start dabbing the starlight on the tops of the highest points of my cheeks. I also dab that on my temples. I put that on my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, and my bridge of my nose. You can build up this highlighter so you can stroke for the gods. But for this look, I just wanted to be subtle and simple. Give me some lip. We're gonna start working with our lips. We're gonna underline our lips. I'm using a brow pencil. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. We're gonna go in with Blankety. This is from MAC. I love this color. Um, it's a nude color and it kind of creates an ombre effect. We're going to highlight the inner tear ducts. We're gonna wet our brushes. We're using the Urban Decay uh, Moon Dust. We're using the colors Lightyear, Vega, and Galaxy. So, as you can see, I'm just dabbing each color and we're gonna start highlighting that. So you can see, I'm just being really precise and spreading that color and making our eyes look bright. And here is the look so far some because we're gonna set our face in place and here is the finished look 